Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. I'm the captain. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. It's the most beautiful time of, of the year. year. Nice harmony. Uh, it's <laughs> Christmas. As you, well, we're certainly in the run up to Christmas, and Rob and I thought to ourselves, well, we haven't written to Santa yet. No. And we really should. But if I did, it would be like this Dear, dear Santa, Santa, please could I have. Um, a really nice expensive guitar and some lovely amplifiers All from pedals that from Andertons.co.uk in Guildfordshire. Lots of Full love. stuff. Fold Rob. it, send it. Crayon. Kiss. And you post it into the fireplace and it burns and the ashes go up to Santa. They do. Well, no, it, you, you can you can put into any post box in the UK. Just address it to Santa Claus and it will get there because it's magic. You mean I've been burning all my letters for no reason? Yeah, whatsoever. that's why you never get for Christmas what you want. That's what it is, yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Should we start with you, Rob? So this, okay. is, this is pure, unadulterated, uh, pointless uh, half an hour or whatever a video of basically Rob and I just choosing uh, whatever we want. Yes, I decided today uh, it's time to treat ourselves, which we rarely do. So we're in a room full of custom shop strats, PRS guitars, Friedmans, Duesenbergs, no Gibsons, so I may have to go and look there. Uh, but you, right. you, you, you tell me what, what's... I, okay, so I would tend to gravitate to this wall, mm. the sort of stripy and colourful end. You've always had a little thing for, for guitars oh, from what? Mr. Smith, haven't you? Yes. You've always had a little thing. Mr. Smith and I have a great relationship. Um, and recently I tried these Friedman guitars and was absolutely enamoured. Now, uh, good word. Blown The ones away. we tried, for some reason, haven't made it back into this room. They're in a different place of Anderton's. But then you know what? Yesterday, we tried something, and I was very surprised and really, really happy. And I think if I choose from this particular brand, then probably Lee can't, and he would need to choose something slightly different. I think so, I know what you're going to so choose. So follow me. Yeah, let's go with Rob. We'll pick his first and mine second. By the way, whilst you're there, why not look at our exploding Chapman guitar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They, they wanted to do something good with the Chapman, so they blew it up. <laughs> Here are all the component parts. Every single nut, bolt, screw, individual part, body. If you're wondering what this is, this is where the uh, the earth goes to the bridge. Even the little the, the little pin. Not long until someone steals that, Lee, I tell you. And um, Anyway. That's yeah, really good. I like that. Some of the more affordable PRS guitars, but uh, as we have a no limits rule on this video. There's no limit, no, there's no limit. I knew you'd end up back here because I knew you really liked these guitars. Yes. But uh, I was surprised. I mean, these are by no means the most expensive guitars that we sell, so. No. Yeah. So here's the thing. <clears throat> I really, really enjoy the color blue on a guitar. And these, I played these in particular. I thought they played great. I think they sounded great. Uh, they were quite heavy in weight. That rhymes with great. And I don't mind the fact that it weighs a lot because I've got a strong back and good legs on me and my legs are really short. So they're, in relation to the rest of my body, they're quite sturdy. I've never, I'm gonna buy this guitar because I've got good legs. Yes. I've never heard that before. That's exactly what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking it needs to be either this one or this one. And to be really honest, if I was buying myself a new guitar for Christmas right now, it would be this. Do you want to come and look at some posh Music Man guitars? No. We've got like John Petrucci's, James Valentine's. No. I'm just, I'm just saying, that's a great looking guitar. Although the, I, I thought the other one had the better top on it. But you like the humbuckers, don't you? I like the humbuckers, Lee. Yes. Hmm. Um, well, hold that guitar. Well, let me just put it up and imagine, and imagine you've got a virtual shopping cart that you've put, put it up. in. Okay, right. Clunk. Would it be anything from here, like a beaten up old custom shop collector's choice Firebird 3? It's not really your thing, is it, that? Uh, as much as I respect the Firebird greatly. Respect the Firebird. Respect the Firebird. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when you did um, oh, the big, hooded beak? Hooded beak. <laughs> In your face! <laughs> Nighthawk, the hooded beak is here to ensure that you get great value for your money when you buy a guitar. <laughs> Let's do it! Nighthawk! Yeah! Nighthawk Defender of the Week! Nighthawk! Um, okay, let's go. Did we get a nice sweep of this as we walked past? Sweep it. We did. Um, 
I've got a bit, this looks really nice. Yeah. Look at that. Is that your thing? Oh! Uh, it's too green. I'm not it's really a green, green guy. It? It's very green. I do like this. This looks like swamp ash. Oh man. That's a beautiful John little. Petrucci, insane guitar player. Beautiful little neck carve there too. It's a great guitar, that one, isn't it? Yeah. I, like, I like the top. How much is that? Well, it's not a lot of money, really. 872. Yeah. <laughs> Santa's spending way more than that on me. Crafted in Indonesia. Santa's spending way more than that on me. How do you know how much Santa is spending, Luke? Because uh, I've been a really good boy all year. Uh, that's nice. Look at the neck on that. It's beautiful, isn't it? James Valentine of Maroon 5. I, I think this is one of the most beautiful necks I've seen in ages. How small it is. Yeah, I know. I mean, literally, no wonder they said this is like a know, but gateway James thing. James has really tiny hands. He's really small. I met him once. He's literally this tall. Yeah. And uh, he's only 12. He's only 12. <laughs> Uh, um, oh. Surely, wouldn't this be somewhere on your Christmas list, Rob? No. no. I didn't think so. Or this. Surely this would have been the Demonology LTD. If I've lost him, he's gone. So what? Well, this would be. Are you in the second hand corner? Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. We don't often give the second hand corner enough love, in my opinion. But um, it's things like this where you go, oh yeah. Second hand RG for an amazing 500 quid. Um, you know, it's a player. Here's one of your idols. Oh, yeah. See, why wouldn't you want why, I, this? Is top of the range, proper Joe Satriani. To be honest, fact. as much as I love Joe probably more than any other guitar player on earth, yeah, and I, I would love me one of these. What I really want is for them to reissue the Silver Surfer. They had a problem with that, though, didn't they? I don't think. I think almost every guitar, the chrome finish, came off. I just, if they ever managed to get the Silver Surfer right, I'd have one in a heartbeat. I might be wrong about that. That was just. I, I vaguely remember that story from a few. My Benez, I'd have one in a heartbeat. Now, Rob. What acquisition? You're going to buy one of these guitars over every single other guitar in the shop just to upset the uh, viewers of YouTube. Yes, I think I'll buy every Chapman guitar and then demonstrate them one at a time for you. <laughs> <laughs> You know what we could do, although I think Anderton's has already done this on its channel at some point, but you could properly Cotson up and, and Telecaster. To be fair, that is a great looking that Telecaster. That is a really nice looking guitar, isn't it? Yeah, with the blades. But you know what, I, I think looking around I can't has solidified it. my opinion. Seriously? Yeah. No one would have gone with it. I would not have believed you would do that at the beginning of this. But that, no, well, neither would I, but they're great. So, wow. Yeah. Now, the whole sort of reclaimed wood thing, I think, is super popular at the moment. Oh, it's the roasted ash. I'm not sure how reclaimed this is, but uh, it's got that kind of found it in a ditch kind of vibe, you know, or, you know, like an old man's shed has become a guitar. That's nice. I like that. But again, probably not something for my Christmas list. Where are you going? Are you lost? Uh, what I really want, to be honest with you, is this top in this body. Even Father Christmas can't do that. Father Christmas can't make the magic happen. But so, and I think um, the other problem is that now that you look at the red and then the other finish, I am vaguely torn. But genuinely, I think it's this. Happy Christmas to me if I was buying this for me via Santa. If Santa was buying this for me. Lee. I'm amazed. I am literally oh, oh. amazed. Can you hear the background music in here, Rob? Yes. It is a dodgy George Michael cover of Last Christmas I have Gave you got, My Heart. You've got a Christmas... Um... We basically have like piped in background music. Right. And this is a true, true story. Uh, when I used to be in charge of background music, which clearly I'm not anymore, I used to explicitly say to the company that piped it in, if I ever hear a Christmas song in Anderton's, I will cancel the contract. Um, but, uh, hey. That I thought you were going to say if you ever heard a George Michael song. No, 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 I, I, I'm quite happy with George Michael. <laughs> um, so, Lee, what would Santa get you for being a good boy? 
Well, this is why I thought I'd come here because now I, I'm probably not going to choose one of these because I actually, as, as a guitar to play, uh, I find the 335 a little bit uncomfortable to play. But they are without doubt some of the best looking guitars we've got. And it's clearly I buy all my guitars just because they look nice. Um, <laughs> I do, I literally do. Uh, well, at least you admit it. Um, oh. You know what I saw that I liked? And it's rare for me to like a Gretsch, a big blue one. Yeah, that, look at that. Yeah, so Who wouldn't thing. want this on their wall? I've actually got an orange one of those on my wall. Uh, that I inherited from my late father-in-law. Right. Um, nice. Anyway, but I think I'm going to go back into the little room of joy. These are the guitars we were playing yesterday. Oh yeah. They were really good, but especially that one. But I don't know. I, that is a definite guitar that I would look at if I was just shopping for a guitar. Right. But I think for just a, well, you could put that one back together again, then it would, it would be worth Father about Christmas a could quarter do of, that. The, of the value. Uh, I am definitely ending up back in here. What about um, do you know what something? I don't, have, I don't have an insanely good Telecaster, and I was playing this earlier on, thinking, oh. <laughs> How much is that? 2,500. I reckon Santa would scratch that for you. Is it the best looking telly we've got though? Uh, oh man, and I do like, there's probably a reason I haven't got a really good telly and that's probably because actually when I actually get them, I don't really like them, but I sort of feel like I should just persevere and just make Have you tried the, like um, this shiny null relic Friedman telly? Oh God, that's true. I mean, obviously, uh, again, I wouldn't go for that. It's too bling for me. That other one's better. Look at that, you see how you can tell? People say that, you know, wood doesn't make a difference and all that kind of stuff. And I wish people know, say that. <laughs> but you can, this is guitar's just more alive, you know. Is that, a, what is that then? Is that a is a, it is a postmodern. Yeah. Oh, well that means I probably am gonna like this as well because yeah. I like the postmodern spirit. Do you think Santa Claus would buy me this? I think Santa Claus would definitely buy you that, Lee. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's now time to look for amplifiers. Now Rob is heading towards the McBoogie area. <laughs> well, the whole area really. Oh, surely. It's there, it's staring right at you with its tread plate glory shining. But you know what? No, I, I don't agree, I refuse to. No, I've, I've never really been bitten by the, the, the dual rectifier bug. And yet, how many bands would have been dual rectifier players that, that I mean, loved probably when years? I was really young, but I tell you what I was bitten by, if you still got that 20... Uh, Underneath there, is it? No, what's this one? Is this the 525? Yeah, Mark 525 is that one. You had a second hand well, oh, it's, gone pro it's probably gone, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I can't believe you don't want to go dual wreck. It's just like, it's just an everything. Yeah, but I'm not really, I'm not a metal player. <sighs> not that you can only have to play metal on a dual wreck, but I'm not, I'm not really a metal player. Um, I, let's just keep looking. This, this is, this is nice and familiar territory for me. Uh, oh gosh, yeah. We could go, have we got like a, no, we haven't got a, like an OR 100, no, 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 not OR, what was it, it's a custom shop 50, that was a pretty spectacular. I've never tried a TH30, that would be interesting. I mean, it's, it's not a terribly expensive amplifier, but we could plug it in. Well, but, you know. Do you like to look at this? That's the limited edition uh, 2555, so it's the Silver Jubilee, but in a, in a head that kind of looks right. a bit oldie fashioned-y. I like, I like the look. Yeah. What OC? <laughs> oh, here it is. I mean, surely, I know you've always wanted one of these, haven't you? Was that a, a, a Bugera? A, bugger, a Bugera. Oh, is it the 333XL? No, it's the Bugera, though. It's yeah, just, it's the 333XL. Like, uh, got a second hand one of those in there. Uh, I've, heard some, I've heard some really good things about them from people I don't like, so I'll definitely get to <laughs> TH30. You're going TH30? Yeah, I mate. did not see that coming. Yeah, because I've I never done it. I think you could work it with the pedals. Okay. I, I'm surprised this is so That's, Father Christmas. I'll have a chat with Santa and make sure he's, he's uh, cool with this. Probably going to kill myself trying to carry it back to the room though. 
but that's fine. I'll do anything for art. Oh, I've never tried that. Really? A, 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 a one by fifteen Fender Twin. Does that sound? Do you think that's my bag or not oh, at all? Mate, I mean, if, if anything's your bag, that's your bag. Do you but think it's, so? It's a bag you're going to have to carry. <laughs> This is, this is, this is, yeah, I, I think I might just, because I've never tried it, I think I might just like to try it. Oh my god, how heavy is it? Though? Massively, I would have thought. Oh. A 1 by 15, is that going to be cool? Well, it's going to sound immense. It might be a heavy on the bass end and a bit lacking in the mid-range, but... Well, then that's when you, you put yourself a nice, like, treble booster on it. I'm into that. Santa so that will carry it for you. Pedals, it is, it I mean, we have slay. got a million pedals in the room that we could choose from already, but are there pedals that you want to try? There are some pedals I saw yesterday which are relicked and looked really cool. Oh, so, b yeah. yeah. Now, I don't know. These, the, the red one and the blue one uh, are the sort of more octave fuzzy kind of things. I think it's the might be the blue one that's the octave. Octa Hive. And I, the Hive is just a straight drive pedal. Well, like right. a fuzz. I want to try the Octa Hive. Yeah. What's this red one? Just try them all. I, I vaguely oh, remember just try that. Them all. So this one, if I remember rightly, one of the switches switches the octave on and off, and the other one does the drive on and off. Right, right, right. Okay. I think. So I'm wrong. Definitely trying those pedals. Okay. What about you? Anything you feel? Is that all you, you just want those two, Jeff? Well, they just look really cool. Uh, no one's ever relics. What amp have you chosen? TSA. Do you need a reverb? Uh, or are you just going to use one from the room? I'll probably use a reverb in the room. Yeah. Really deluxe sounding reverb. I think I want. A fuzz and a drive and a delay, I think. So, ultimate fuzz pedal is probably big. Might go with a fallout cloud by Thorpey, because he makes a good fuzz. And then the drive pedal. Oh man, so many. So many. It's so difficult. Uh, I've decided I'm going for a, a tube screamer, yep. uh, the the uh, Thorpey thing, Fallout Cloud, yep. and a delay pedal, which I will probably uh, I've got to go for something better than the carbon copy, haven't I? Oh, I'm going to go for a for a for a thing. Have you ever tried the White Elk from Ren and Cuff? No, I've already said I'm going to have a okay. Strymon. Uh, I'm going to have a Strymon. Uh, what's just the basic simple delay, Brigadier? Because I don't want it's too complicated to get into the whole big sky thing. So that they're my three pedals. Have you bought? Have you decided? Are I have chosen all of these pedals here. I've oh, got an amp. I've got a guitar. We're good. You've got re and um, reverb. Re 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 is there a, is there an effects loop on a TH30? Uh, if there isn't, I'm screwed. Okay, let's just do this. We'll see you back in the room. Because before the track started, I knew I liked the guitar and wasn't really sure I liked the amplifier. And I was kind of going, oh, I'm not sure these pedals together really sound that great in isolation. And then the track started and I played something and I went, this is just, this sounds great. Isn't it's amazing. That weird how it's, that, it's, it's amazing when you, you get something that you thought you'd like and then have to struggle with it to find out how you would use it. And then when you find your way through it to the musicality, then suddenly it's the best thing that's ever existed, you know. And definitely, definitely, you know, I I want to be I, I want to be Jeff Beck. I tried to summon my inner kind of, you know, that's so hard to do. That. <laughs> a 
And here's the crazy thing, you think that's hard, do it with the whammy bar as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, he's just insane, isn't he? Yeah. But look, let's, let's, um, I hope down. you enjoyed that video. I know this is a slightly longer one. Let's do the, let's do the, so, uh, what will you be sending back to Father Christmas out of your Father Christmas list? And what will you be keeping? Right, well, uh, the problem I have there is that I liked everything I chose with the exception of two of the Beatronics pedals. I liked them, but they didn't work for yep. me. I don't think the Beatronics vibe, I don't think you're supposed to have one of each. I think you're supposed to kind of go, <laughs> here they are, and they're all of a kind of a similar doody do. Yeah, I had three. And you'd just go, that's the one I like. Yeah, for I sure. I love the Octahive. For me, it's got that Jimmy vibe. Definitely. It's, got, it's saturated fuzz, but it's got the octave over. Yeah. It's really nice. Joss recommended I use it with this Klon copy thing. Sort of boost the mid-range tighten up a bit. Just sick. Yeah. And then the MXR Phase 90, 95. Um, it's just the mini one, isn't it, we basically? We just pull that up here. The TH30 is great. Let's I mean, have a, it. Give us a tone rundown then. Okay, here's the here's the, the tone rundown. We won't keep you much longer. You can go and have your turkey dinner in a yeah, minute. Yeah, don't worry about don't worry about us. We're just going to be. Or just here press for a pause bit. and come back and watch us later after James yeah. Bond. Maybe. So if I roll off uh, the rhythm pickup, that this is. That's essentially the sound of the TH30. We're, we're running this, by the way, into a 212 uh, Vintage 30 loaded cab. Yes. Just in case you're wondering how it's coming out of this noise. But if I crank it up into the pickup, mm. it's more... You, Which is great. You million percent have the optimum... Oh yeah. I mean, gain above like eleven o'clock on an orange amplifier never sounds good. Well, to no, me. it does, but not at bedroom levels. If you crank from experience of touring mm. with orange, if you crank them to there, they sound the best. Well, even both. No, you got to put them like that. Oh, look out, Taylor! That's, that's the optimum uh, sound. <laughs> I still to... prefer, I mean, more volume absolutely sounds fatter, but I still prefer the gain, or the, the lower end of the gain well, the way spectrum. I, the way I put it is if you want it, you've got to earn it. Right. That's the way I put it. Um, but then with the little clon on top, it's just a magical... <laughs> So I bought that, uh, that's a Klon KTR, which I bought from one of the guitar staff here because everybody said Klons were great and I've never really liked it. Oh, right. But with that... Yeah, it's great. Sounds great. Yeah, it's sounds right. really good. Right, right tasty. And then Beatronics, mm. to Hive. Um, it, you got to roll, okay. I roll off the volume and I rolled off the tone to give you the... If you bring it all the way in and bring in all of the time. Do you know what it sounds like? It literally sounds like there's a little Miku in there. It, <laughs> there's like a, there's, you know, the, the noise that the me, like, me, do that again with full volume. <laughs> You can't yeah, unhear that because now, of can that you? that I prefer octave fuzzes <laughs> if you dart yeah, back. Yeah, I prefer the, the first tone. sound so, you had. Yeah. yeah, so that you get like um. 
And then you push it. Great. And then you push that with right. the claw on, and then. <laughs> Ah, oh, that sounds great, man. Lastly, uh, phase 95 on top of the whole. <laughs> the phase just. It's doing that. It's doing that on top of both the pedals. I mean, that, so basically, that's your Dear Santa list, is it? Yes. I like it. Absolutely. Well done. Covered this at the beginning of the video. This is a this is a Fender Twin Reverb, uh, but with a one by fifteen speaker in it rather than two twelves. I don't know if you can zoom in on this, but I've I've gone for a what I think is a very non typical Fender kind of setting. The the fifteen inch speaker gives loads of bass end, but which is nice, but then a quite a clacky kind of top end, not my real favorite kind of sound. So I've dialed the treble, you know, down to just three out of 10 and then boosted the mid range to try and, I guess I'm, what I'm probably trying to do you is want make it, it sound like a normal Fender Twin. Um, but it's kind of cool. Uh, the, the reverb you're hearing is all from here. It's a little bit overpowering actually, isn't it? But. And then pedals wise, uh, the Brigadier is the delay pedal, which is lovely. It's got a little bit of modulation on there, which, nice. which is nice for the clean stuff, isn't it? You know, so that sort of big. Uh... Get told off by Pete for not playing the chords properly to Purple Rain. Um, <laughs> Pete's not here, Lee. He isn't. Then I've got the Thorpey Fallout Cloud, which is a great fuzz pedal. But I think with the 115, it really highlights the fact that the speaker doesn't naturally have a great deal of mid range and it's very bright sounding. So you get that sort of. <laughs> And what I was hoping the Tube Screamer would do would be to darken it off, but it darkens it way too much. So I wasn't using that, but this Tube Screamer, what is this? Is it Overdrive Pro TS808DX? Has a boost thing on it, which seems to work really well with the fuzz. So that's what I was using. <laughs> So interesting, but, we were both using pedals to boost a pedal. Yeah, but even that, without the backing track, isn't really my cup yeah. of tea. But with the backing track and with all three, it was giving these quite nice sort of... Um, I didn't realize I had so much delay on actually on that. I couldn't really hear <laughs> so, it. So, you know, the... if we ever reform the Stone Valley Redemption, we're going to have to find you a tech to carry this. Yeah. Because... So, I think given that I'm struggling to get a sound that I really like out of this amplifier and it's backbreakingly heavy, 
I probably would send this back to Father Christmas and say, please, Father Christmas, could I just have a normal 2x12 one? Uh, this is a definite keeper. I would definitely, and I think probably the Brigadier and the Fallout Cloud I would keep and the Tube Screamer I would send back. So right. my, my Christmas shopping was not quite as successful as yours, uh, but nonetheless, let's hope most importantly that your Christmas shopping yes. has got you everything that you wanted why not comment below what you got yourself for or santa got you for christmas from any that is a great shout let's have in the comment section below everyone's dear santa list yes. please and then what you can do of course is you can tag like someone in that list can you tag people in, at santa in, you know whatever and then maybe they'll read it and then who knows santa might find out anyway hey santa knows everything santa knows everything i've been rob chapman i've been the captain See you later. merry christmas Merry Christmas. Oh. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, Click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.